Hi everyone, Kieran here. It can sometimes be very difficult to select the right length of tool for the program toolpath at hand. Traditionally, one would consider always using the shortest tool wherever possible, but problems could arise with either the tool, holder, or both colliding with the part in different areas. Longer tools often help to reduce tool and holder collisions, but often results in more tool deflection and vibration, which can lead to the part being damaged or worse, being scrapped. Here, I have my shortest tool available. However, we can clearly see a collision with the holder. Using the new change tool functionality, I can quickly change the tool for a same diameter tool with a different holder without having to recalculate the toolpath. Again, even though I've changed the tool in this instance, I am still getting a collision with the tool. I can now make further adjustments to the overall length of the tool, which means my tool will reach the full depth for the required toolpath with the benefit of not having to recalculate that same toolpath. In this next instance, I have a mold tool on screen with some deep areas to machine. I've used a steep and shallow strategy to machine both areas of the sloped faces as highlighted in blue. Simulating the toolpath shows that with my current tool, I have the holder colliding with the part in four key areas. Here, 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 and here. To avoid the collisions with the holder, I want to machine those areas with a separate longer tool whilst maintaining the original shorter tool for the shallower areas. To do this, I can use the trim toolpath option and create a polygon around the area. Using the keep both option, I can make sure that the toolpath is split into its individual entities. Using the change tool button in the ribbon or the right mouse button to modify the split segment, I can now change the tool and select a tool which is longer and won't cause a collision with my holder. Simulating the toolpath now shows the collision with the holder has been removed. In this next toolpath, we can see that the toolpath is split into four key areas. The problem here is that I have multiple tool changes across these areas, which I would like to minimize. Using the simple drag and drop functionality, I can now reorder the toolpath to reduce any unnecessary tool changes, which would result in my program becoming more efficient. For more information or for other videos like toolpath trimming, please click on the link in the description below. From me, cheers.